Hey, this is Victor here. Um, I'm going to start my makeup to be a zombie at Kim's Crypt Haunted House attraction. And uh, I have my zombie forehead appliance, which is really used. But uh, Babette Bombshell made these for us when we did Trailer Park of Living Dead. And it's gotten a lot of use out of it using it at Kim's. I have a whole bunch of them that Babs made for us. So um, I'm going to be gluing this sucker to my forehead with spirit gum. This stuff is fun. I don't have any pros aid, which is the best, but I, can, I don't have it right now. But I can wear this for six hours and it'll be fine. This is liquid latex, which I'm using to blend the edges. I have, uh, for coloring, I have Ben Nye. It's called Sour Green. It's also been known to be called uh, Frankie Green for Frankenstein. We have Wolf Brothers Green. It's like a dark forest color. And I've got Wolf Brothers Black, which is really good stuff. Wolf Brothers makeup is my favorite next to Ben Nye. Um, I also have this stack of makeup colors you can buy at Party City or whatever. It's like a bruise stack. Um, I have just makeup sponges and everything to make myself all gross. So, uh, I'm going to start applying spirit gum to the appliance. Okay, and apply a generous amount of spirit gum to the appliance. The thing with this is, uh, there's spirit gum remover, which I have right here, this stuff, which uh, if I don't use that when I take off this forehead, I will lose my eyebrows. I've pulled out many eyebrow hairs already, and I don't want to lose any more. It's very painful. Some nights I just get home, and because scaring people is a tough job. It's really fun, but wow, it takes a lot out of you. And I'm sweating under this thing, and but it's all for, it's all for the scare, which is so worth it, because this is the second weekend we're open. The first weekend we opened, we had people so anxious about it, they were so scared to go through. One lady threw up, we had another lady throw up, who we went through it, because she wasn't used to how it was laid out, and she got disoriented, and it just made her so sick. And we had another person throw up just because they were scared. Good times, really fun. Two, let's put this on. Who knows, I might even speed the video up, and you won't even hear me talk. Okay, I think I put enough on here. We just let that sit and get sticky, tacky, it's already sticky. It's on the edges here. Now, I'm going to put some on my face. All right, while spirit gum is getting tacky on the prosthetic, I'm going to put some on my face, and I have a small mirror that I'm going to be looking into instead of this one because I'm too far away from it. Hopefully, you guys can see me applying this to my forehead. And all around here, where this thing sits on my face. What I would do normally is size it on someone's face to see anything needs to be trimmed from it. But sometimes when you make these appliances, there's extra latex called flashing needs to be cut off. And I've already trimmed mine. Well, Babs, Babette, I trimmed it for me to fit my face with a movie. But since I use latex to make the edges blend, I have extra flashing on there that I cut off every time. I'm not putting as much on my forehead as I did on the, on the appliance because I lay put so much on there, it doesn't need too much. I don't need to get this stuff in my hair. It's bad enough I get latex in my hair. I can feel it getting tacky already just by doing this. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. I'll just wait. Wait for it. I should have a hair dryer, but I don't feel like, I don't feel like getting it out. I have time. I like it's sticky on its own. I I have my iPod plugged in and it's playing music from the internet. Alright. I'm gonna stick this baby on. Keep checking the camera to see if I'm here focused, but I know it's fine. Size it up. Size it up, size it up. And there we go. That's a small mirror. Press it on real nice and tight. Especially down here on these cheekbone parts, because if I start growling and stuff as a zombie, I don't want them popping up. Oh, that's just on the counter. Okay. I'm gonna let this set up. I'm gonna get real sticky on my face. Once this is on, it's gonna be on for for a couple hours, because Kim's is open from 3 till... No, I'm sorry, from 7 till 10.30 for 3 hours. So I feel like this cheek part is on there. It's glued down. Okay, I'm gonna keep pressing on this until it's... Until I can feel that it's stuck on there good enough. Okay, and the next step is to some liquid latex here. I like these little applicator bottles because of the brush inside. It's a lot easier to do. If you don't have that, you can use a makeup sponge or just a paint, like a paintbrush or whatever, a little art brush. Go down to the small mirror and start blending some edges here. I don't have to be too perfect because I'm going to be in a dark area where people aren't going to be seeing my makeup in full light, so it may look kind of bizarre that my edges aren't blended right, but it looks really good with a quick flash of light on. I'm not too worried about that. For those of you who have never smelled liquid latex, this stuff is gross. And it burns your eyes, which is right here, too. Smells like really gross alcohol. Yeah. Strange alcohol smells. Get some of my mask too. The appliance is on the mask. This is why this will look like wrinkled skin at the top of the forehead. It's pretty much like what we did on Trailer Park. Bloody dead. These kinds of zombies. I'm starting my makeup early because uh, I have my friend Caleb to do because he's volunteering tonight with me. I usually start my makeup about 3 o'clock because we open at 7 and I'm helping doing makeup on all the other actors there. And it's easier to have people get there by 5. That's in my sideburn. I'm gonna do it. I hate getting my out of my hair. 
what I usually do for this makeup is bridge my nose as well because it's kind of looks like I'll put this on a little crooked this time. I have this all blended up in my nose. Oh, it burns my eyes. <laughs> but I'm very happy with this final product. I did some different colorings and things the weekend, the opening weekend. I think I found what I like. Oh, the first time I took all this latex off my nose, it took a layer of skin with it. Which was very frustrating to me. <laughs> it looked like I had sunburn on my nose because it was peeling. So it's not in my sideburn as much. The, the more you can do to glue it on, the better. Uh, let's let this dry. While it's drying, I will start doing my coloring in my face. All down here on my neck. And all that stuff. I'm not wearing this shirt. I'm wearing another shirt that has ribs and guts on it. Just really awesome. Doo -doo. That's okay for blending. It's really fast blending. It's not, it's not seamless, but it works in the dark. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right now, I look like a strange white and green thing because of the makeup. Yeah. thing to do with this makeup on your teeth is you dry your teeth like so try not to let your lips go down so your lips don't get drolly I only did my top teeth and then you hang it on like so Just wipe most of it off, but doesn't look really gross. Yeah. It has some green too. Oh, there's my tongue. The green is really good, but it goes on too thick. Mm. 